Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 2 for here bringing you another Minecraft Star Wars vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M68 Landspeeder, also known as the Corellian M68 Landspeeder. This was a model of Landspeeder manufactured by Mo Mobquet. A speeder of this type was used by Han Solo and Kira at some point during the reign of the Galactic Empire. Uh, this speeder here in particular appears in the new Han Solo movie and it can be seen in the trailer as uh, pretty much a vehicle that is in some kind of chase with Han Solo. Um, I have not seen the movie yet, so I do not know exactly what is going on in that scene. However, uh, I look forward to seeing it, of course, in the movie um, and pretty much in action. But it's a really cool looking speeder, that's for sure. I think it's probably one of my favorite land speeders I've seen so far in really Star Wars. It just is, it, it's cool. I like the asymmetrical look to it and just like the the overall just, just I don't know, the overall just like shaping look of it I think is pretty cool. It's pretty much your muscle car of the Star Wars universe, really, and I think it's just overall a really cool vehicle. Uh, there's not a lot of information given for it since it's, you know, a brand new vehicle from, you know, a brand new movie. So it's, you know, needing time to get some more information for it. Maybe we'll find out a little bit more on this uh, background and all that stuff. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, vehicle itself. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, see what we're going to be going ahead and building in uh, this uh, tutorial. Uh, so starting off with we have the front up here the detailing and all that stuff nothing you know absolutely insane going on here just a simple front detailing we got the little headlight on the side there and um, all that stuff up above here we have the engine which uh, is very prominent on the top of the vehicle uh, it's a cool like engine look to it and everything like that uh, going along the sides here you have uh, the blue and white color scheme that the speeder has um, in the movie and uh, you can see part of the engine exposed here on the side here you have the whole um, you know seating area on the inside here so you have the seats uh, the control panels all that kind of stuff the uh, kind of like the steering console or steering we would say a steering wheel but it's not really a wheel so uh, located right there uh, and this side over here you can see the asymmetrical look for it. this engine on this side is more covered up this side over here is more exposed um, I'd really do like that design actually for it and you can see all the exposed tubing and um, you know uh, mechanical parts and all that kind of stuff exposed on the back here you have your two uh, engines and uh, it has this cool kind of like spoiler that goes across too uh, which is pretty interesting I think it's pretty cool and um, yeah overall it's a really cool looking uh, speeder and again probably one of my favorite land speeders from Star Wars so far it's just a really cool looking design for sure anyways uh, that's it for this overview let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer layer one all right, so we're actually gonna go ahead and start off with what would technically be layer uh, two. We do have some iron trap doors we're gonna place down the bottom of some blocks. So, uh, you know, that is one thing that we're gonna be going ahead and doing. Uh, so I guess this is technically layer two, but this is kind of like a big, uh, you know, layer for the, basically setting up the base of it. So we're gonna move on to layer one once we complete this layer two. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a blue wool block. This right here is going to be from the right front. Uh, up here on this side is where that blue wool block is located so we have a lot of vehicle kind of be going ahead and going to the left of it so make sure you have proper space for it anyways once you have that complete we're going to place down a stone brick stair uh, coming off this blue wool block like this we then want to place down another stone brick stair facing that stair so we create a, a little uh, a little like opening that looks like that we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some cobblestone stairs we're going to place down one and two cobblestone stairs just like that we're then going to go ahead and place down a nether brick uh, stair here on the side just like that once you guys have uh, that complete we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some black wool we're gonna go ahead and go behind these uh, these uh, stone brick stairs here to place down black wool we're gonna place down a blue wool block behind this blue wool block on the side there we're also gonna take our black wool place down one and two more black wool blocks at to, out to the side we then want to place down a cobblestone stair come off this black wool block right here so we turn this stair right here into a corner stair uh, we also want to go ahead and just have our uh, this uh, cobblestone stair also is going to turn into a corner stair with having this corner stair here so it should look something kind of like this so far from the front up here uh, with that complete we're then going to place down a blue wool block back like this we're then going to place down one two three and four over to the side just like that with uh, that complete uh, we actually want to go ahead and swap out this fourth block here with a polished andesite block we're going to grab ourselves a end rod we're going to place down an end rod coming off this cobblestone stair like so Again, on this side, a narrow blue wool block. We're going to place down one, two, and three over. Followed by, again, a polished andesite block. And again, a end rod over here on the side. <clears throat> Just like that. Continuing on, we're going to take our blue wool again. We're going to place down a narrow row of four blue wool. 
going across. A polished dance type block again. This time, however, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. Throw off this polished dance type block right here. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair after this blue wool block on the side here. We're going to place down one, two, and three blue wool blocks across. We're going to place down another polished dance type block. And we're going to place down another brick stair coming off this polished dance type block like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone upside down stair off this polished dance type block. We're then going to place down one, two, and three blue wool blocks across, a polished dance type block, and a nether brick, um, and again, a nether, nether brick stair, just like that. After that's complete, we're then going to go ahead and take our uh, stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. After this cobblestone stair, followed by one, two, three, and four uh, blue wool blocks across. We then want to place down a actual fifth blue wool block followed by a stone brick top slab coming off that blue wool block like that uh, once we get to this point here we're gonna take our blue wool again we're gonna place down a row of what is going to be six across like that we then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick uh upside down stair yep an upside down stair after this stone brick top slab like that on the side continuing on we're gonna place down a blue wool block on the right side here followed by one two three four five blocks over where they're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair after this one, like so. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down again a blue wool block on uh, both sides here. On this uh, left side, we're going to place down a stone brick stair coming off this blue wool block. However, this time in the middle here, we have something a little bit different going on. So for this, uh, we will want to go ahead and grab ourselves black wool. We're going to place down a black wool block next to these two. Um, next to these, uh, well actually this block right here, we're actually going to switch to a black wool block. And this black wool block right here is going to be right next to this blue wool block like that. And the space here in the middle, uh, we... Alright, so the space here in the middle in between these blocks, we're going to place down a polished dance type block next to those two black wool blocks. And then we're going to place down another brick stair there in the middle, followed by a skeleton skull on both sides. After that's complete, we're going to take our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down two stone brick stairs back to back, coming off the uh, stone brick stair here and the black wool block. So you get something that looks like that on the back here for the left side. Over here on the right side, it's going to be something similar to stone brick stairs back to back like that to, to uh, pretty much create the back. So looking at this from above, we should have something that looks like this so far for the land speeder. Again, uh, pretty uh, weird design. If you look at this from underneath, it's definitely going to be a little weird. So it's definitely recommended you keep it uh, facing upward as that's where it looks best for sure. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for layer two. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer one real quick and then we'll go ahead and move on to uh, layer three. All right, guys, so layer one is very simple. Um, as I kind of mentioned, it was, uh, you know, a very simple layer that uh, it's just really easy, a lot easier to do once we have the actual second layer complete. So for this, we're just going to go take iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of iron trap doors all across the front section right here. We then want to go and go along the sides here. We're going to go and place down iron trap doors on the bottom of these blue wool blocks all the way to the stone brick stairs. And then over here on this side, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors and go back along this side as well. So we're just going to go and place it down all along here like this all the way back here to this blue wool block like that. Um, once we get to that point there, we're going to go and place down a um, iron trap door that's going to be on the bottom of this stair right here. So just like that, and that's where our uh, banner is going to connect up to in our uh, next layer for our um, kind of like our spoiler that goes across there. Anyways, that's it for uh, layer one. As I told you guys, very basic. With that, let's go ahead and move back up to layer two. All right, guys, so moving on to layer two. For layer two, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start from placing down a quartz stair on top of that blue wool block like that. We then want to place down an upside down stone brick stair coming off the back of that quartz stair. After that, we're going to place down an air stone brick upside down stair uh, right, right behind this, uh, or right after this stair. So we create like a circular shape that looks like that. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to take our stone brick or cobblestone stairs. We're going to place down a row of two across the corner stairs. We then want to place down a black wool block on top of this <clears throat> uh, narrow brick corner stair. And uh, we'll get back to the light here in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. Uh, we're going to then place down a quartz stair. Uh, after this quartz stair on the side here, we're going to place down a row of two of black. Actually, we're going to just place down a row of four of black wool behind the quartz stair. Uh, we then want to place down a, um, over here on this side, we're going to place down a cobblestone uh, wall on top of that cobblestone stair, just like that. Uh, once you have that all finished, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves our um, quartz stairs again. We're going to place down a quartz stair on the side here. We're going to place down uh, a blue wool block like that across. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a second blue wool block. We're then going to place down a narrow brick stair facing that direction like so, followed by a polished andesite block out to the side. With that complete, we're then going to go and grab ourselves an end rod. We're going to place down an end rod coming off this cobblestone wall like that. Go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down again a quartz stair over here on the left side. We're going to place down one and two blue wool blocks across. We're then going to place down a polished andesite block, followed by a second polished andesite block after that. 
We're then going to place down a nether brick stair, coming off that polished anside block on the side like that. We're going to grab our quartz uh, stairs again. We're going to place down a quartz stair. We're going to place down one and two blue wool blocks. Uh, we're going to go and again place down one and two polished anside blocks out to the side. And actually, my bad, we're going to place down just a polished anside block and then a blue wool block like so. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this upside down stair like so. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair over here on the left side. We then want to place down one, two, and three. And actually four polished and set across like so. And actually my bad on the back of this stone brick stair here, we're actually going to place down blue wool. And then we're going to have two, there are three polished and set blocks right here. And then we want to go ahead and place down a black wool block over here next to this stone brick stair with a stone button coming off of it. Uh, just like that. Once you uh, have uh, that complete, we're going to go ahead and go to our sides again. We're going to place down a stone brick stair um, like that on the right side. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down a their brick upside down stair like so after uh, that's complete there in the center we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a dispenser we're gonna place down a dispenser uh, here in the center so this row three of polished anisite we're gonna place it down kind of on the center uh, come off the center block just like that we also want to go ahead and place a, uh, replace these blocks here so we're gonna replace this polished anisite block here with a black wool block and this uh, blue wool block here with a black wool block there for the inside uh, we're also going to place down a blue wool block on the back of this stone brick stair so we create a little uh, space on the inside here which will be part of our interior. Go ahead and continue on over here on the left side uh, or sorry right side we're going to place down a cobblestone stair. Right behind that cobblestone stair we're going to place down a blue wool block. We then want to grab ourselves some uh, some uh, birch wood slabs. We're going to place down a birch wood slab followed by a polished data site block here in the center followed by a birch wood slab. Uh, and then we're going to go and go out to the side here, which is just going to be a blue wool block with a stone brick slab on top of this stone brick top slab. Uh, with that finished, we're then going to place down a quartz stair on the right side here, followed by a blue wool block. We're then going to go and place down a birch wood uh, full plank, followed by a uh, blue wool block, a near birch, a near birch wood plank, and then a uh, blue wool block out to the side. We're then going to place down a stone brick stair coming off that blue wool block. Going to continue on along the side here, we're going to place down one and two quartz stairs back. We're going to go ahead and take our blue wool. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five of blue wool across, followed by a stone brick stair on the outside here. For this uh, row on the inside here, we're going to place down a black wool block here on the back of this quartz block. Again, a polished downside block on top of this one right here. A narrow brick up sound stair on top of this stair right here. Polished downside block, again like that. And then we want to place down a black wool block over here on this side. And then a stone brick stair just like that on the back here we're just going to place down two stone brick stairs back to back on top of each other on top of those two stairs to kind of round off the back there and finish off those two engines uh the last thing we're going to do for the stairs we're going to go and need to go into our inventory we're going to need to grab ourselves an item frame a sign and also a grass a glass block just like that we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on this black wool block up here on the left front we're going to place down a glass block in it followed by a sign to cover it up like that for the front headlight after you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer 3. With that, let's move on to layer 4. Alright guys, so we move on to layer 4. For layer 4, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take white carpet. We're going to place down a row of 5 of white carpet across these blocks up here in the front. We're then going to take blue carpet and place down a row of 5 of blue carpet again right after that uh, row of white wool there. On these two polished anisite blocks right here, we're going to place down a row of 2 of rails like that. We then want to go ahead and go to the uh, right side here of this narrow brick stair. So right here, we're going to place down a stone brick slab. We then want to place down a stone slab on top of this polished anisite block, followed by a stone brick slab back, and then a stone slab off to the right side, like so. Uh, once you have that done, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves blue carpet. We're going to place down a blue carpet in this spot right here. And we also want to grab ourselves a skeleton skull, and we're going to place down a skeleton skull on this blue wool block like that. Over this section right here, we're going to place down one, two, and three blue carpets. Over here on this side, we're going to place down a blue carpet right here next to the stone brick slab. We then want to grab ourselves a stone button. We're going to place down a stone button like so. Uh, and then we're going to place down again a blue carpet after that. <clears throat> Once you have that done, we're going to go and grab ourselves some light gray stained glass. We're going to place down a row of five of light gray stained glass. It's going to go all the way across the front there like that. We then want to grab ourselves a light gray stained glass pane. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane back uh, from those blocks on the sides there like so. And... Um, after we have uh, that done, we're going to go and go to the inside here. We're going to grab ourselves another brick uh, slab. 
which uh, we may actually need to just grab from here. We're going to place down an Arabic slab coming off this uh, glass block like that for the steering um, kind of wheel, I guess. Uh, then on this polished anzite block here, we're going to place down a <clears throat> redstone uh, repeater. We're going to flick, flick it back a few notches here to represent some levers that are located on the center console. Uh, after that's complete, we're going to place down uh, some birchwood planks on top of the already birchwood planks we placed down the previous layer. In between them, we're going to place down a blue wool block. And out to the sides here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on both sides, just like that. Uh, with that finished, uh, one thing we also want to add on is we're going to place down a um, iron trap door. Out, coming off this stone brick stair off to the left side. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a banner. We're going to place down a blue banner coming off this uh, stone brick stair right here, which I forgot to do in the previous layer. So just place down the blue banner. And then a blue banner also coming off this iron trap door off this side. Uh, with that complete, on the backs here, coming off the birchwood planks, we're going to place down a blue wool block on both sides. We then want to place down a stone brick stair on both sides, just like that. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves blue carpet. We're going to place down one and two blue carpets, one and two, and one and two, just like that to fill in those spaces right there. We also want to take a blue banner, we're going to place it down coming off this stone brick stair like that um, on the side there. With that complete, that's going to do it for layer four. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers, layers five and six. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on to layers five and six. For layers five and six, uh, to start off with, we're going to go ahead and take some light gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down one on top of this pane here on both sides uh, like that. And then we're just going to place down a row of five across that five, row of five of uh, light gray stained glass full blocks. With that complete, we then want to go ahead and go to this back section here. Uh, we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a stone brick slab on top of the two birchwood planks like that. Uh, in between the birchwood or the stone brick slabs, we're going to place down a blue carpet on top of this blue wool block, followed by another blue carpet up from it. On top of these two slabs, we're also going to place down a blue carpet uh, thing, just like that. We're then going to place down a stone brick uh, top slab, which is going to uh, basically come off this stone brick slab like so. And on top of this uh, top slab, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like so. On the side here of the top slab, we're going to place down a um, blue banner like that on the side there for, again, that spoiler. Uh, with that complete, over here on this side, uh, we want to go ahead and place down two iron uh, trap doors. So we're going to place down one and two iron trap doors with blue carpet on top of them. And then we just want to go ahead and then place down a blue banner coming off of that iron trap door like that uh, for that um, spoiler on the side there. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for the Han Solo Land Speeder or the M68 Land Speeder. Uh, basically, the Land Speeder used by Han Solo and Kira in that chase scene. Uh, overall, really cool speeder. I absolutely love the uh, look of it and hope you guys do as well. If you guys do have used this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from the side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. Just be sure to give proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett24, and I'll see you guys next time.